Welcome to another vlog with the Georgie boy. I am currently 16 days out. Is it 16 days? 16, I ain't got a fucking clue at this point. And we have just arrived at a gym called, it used to be called Graftism, it's now called Gritness. And I am in for back. We're down south at the moment. We have a friend competing at the Europa MPC two bro show this weekend. So we come down to support her and have a good time and do something a little bit different. And I want to showcase that you can prep, you can diet and, and do fun things. You know, you don't have to fucking live at home in a box, bro. If you are watching this and if you're not subscribed, what are you doing? Tell him, Vix. What are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? Come in. Do something about it. How many likes should we get on this video? 700. Oh. I ain't had seven in ages, but let, let's try our best. If we get 500, that'll be decent, bruv. Don't forget, like, do not forget to subscribe. Let's get fucking into it. I always like to have a scout around the gym before we uh, before we get started, just to see what the fuck's going down. So we've got a prime extreme row. Got some hammer shrimp pieces. Got the uh, Atlantis T-bar. Some Panata plate loaded row. They've got my uh, my favourite machine, which is the uh, the Prime Loro. Really nice. If you got your if you got this piece at your gym, they'll 100 percent recommend it. Jim Leco Preacher Girl. They got the seated up Prime Prime pull down attachment. I really like this Panata pull down. That's nice. Prime pull down, but a bit more upper back focused, in my opinion. They got like a single arm sort of Atlantis row here, which is a very nice piece. Got a few other bits in here. Smith machine, some prime pieces, some Nautilus pieces, prime lateral rays, prime pet deck, hammer shrimp dip, prime shoulder press, some more hammer shrimp pieces as well. So it's pretty kitted out. It's like a kid in a candy store for me anyway. So let's fucking get into it. Nut on. Vertical pull down. What we call this is the priority principle. So my lats are a weakness. If you have a weaker body part, always start off with it first because you're fresher in the session. You're gonna get the most out of it doing it at the beginning than what you would do at the, at the end. Another little tip when I was doing that D handle pull down was I semi supinate my wrist or even supinate it. Generally, if you supinate your wrist, you're more likely to invert that elbow in, which is gonna keep that elbow nice and close. Because what we need to remember when we hit the lat is we want to try and keep that elbow nice and close to our down to our down to our hip essentially. So, two tips, prioritize weaker body parts first, and the second one, if you're doing any lat movement, slight supination, it's gonna bring that elbow in, gonna hit that lat better. Right, that one fucking down. So, sorry, I had to ruin it, didn't I? <laughs> I tried to be serious then, but it just didn't work out. I thought I'd be a, like a proper coach, but it turns out it's a dickhead. have a serious set and uh, create, um, Tory Lane. I want to put you in seven for six. Vicky said relax. Uh, Vicky, Vicky said earn the oats. Oh, We've got oats post-workout and we're fucking starving. Earn the oats. Earn the oats. Are you showing off? Huh? Are you showing off that you left him away from me? No, I just stand around walk around. I walk around like this I do. Like flexing. You know those people that walk around like this? 
You know oh, you look good as well. Huh? You know you look good as well. Do I? Is my rear delt, my rear delt's so sus. Because it is sus. Yeah. Wait, we'll tell you about that story. I'm in that mood right now where I've got headphones in, but I'm not listening to any music. I, I, I did that one time. I've got like these in because it's kind of like, I don't want anyone speaking to me. Is that part of right? Other than you, but I don't want people talking to me. It's terrible. advice I've got for you guys train your upper back to any low row any move which allows you to bring your elbow this high train it because one of the biggest things I see with first-time competitors who step on stage is a lack of upper back development so their upper backs are weak they've got great lats they've got great great rectors but they're missing that upper back so if you're not doing any sort of like upper back row you're missing out so definitely get them into your program okay Yes, fucking two plates on that. I've done five plates on this before and I've come off of it and I felt fuck all from it. That was two plates and that's by far the best connection I've had in my lats in a very long time on this particular machine. So if I'm doing five plates on this and I've still got shit lats, you need to reevaluate what you are doing. You have to. So I've dropped it down to two, gone with the connection, gone with the feel and toasty. Great success. Do I? Fuck. No, fuck off. No men's physique. Tell me in the comments down below, no men's physique. 60 degrees. Ah. Uh, let those arms naturally hang. Curl. session. I actually really like that gym. As you guys know, I used to uh, train at a gym called Vizik's Gym in Hemel Hempstead, which is probably the localist gym to this gym itself, if that makes any fucking sense to anyone. You all right? Yeah. Let me hold it. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> my arm actually um, hurts. And uh, in my opinion, this gym is far better, in my opinion, far superior. I'm sorry, guys. Sorry. My family at Vizik's Gym, I'm going to have to say it's far it's far better. I might get a little bit of shit for that. Anyway. Yeah, good session. Loads of fun. A little bit. We, we trained a little bit later because obviously we traveled down today. So it's about 7 p.m. now, which is way later than what we usually train at the moment. Either way, we've got to take dogs out. We've got to do a food shop. We've got to eat our last meal. So still a lot to do. But as always, we're going to fucking get shit done because that's what we always do, innit? I said bed by eight. Come on. I need to brush my teeth while I haven't brushed my teeth today. Really? Yeah, I forgot. What do you mean you forgot? Just, just, just forgot. All right, we switched over to the GoPro. Sorry about the poor quality. Just in Sainsbury's to pick up a few groceries. So I thought I would take you along for the ride. How exciting. Me going shopping, eh? To be honest with you, my last YouTube video that I did where I walked around the supermarket, it actually did very, very well. Like people actually really liked it, so. It's one of those ones where I thought the video would do shit, but it turned out it did really well. Right, first thing on the agenda. Kale. We watched one of the recent YouTube videos. Man forgot about his kale. So we can't be doing that shit again. Oh, there's some better dates in here. Next on the agenda is bell pepper. Dead. How about these, babe? What's these ones? I guess they'll do. Next on the agenda is 
the old magic mushrooms. We'll take two of those. Up next, fat free, fat free yogurt. Essential. Love yogurt at the moment. I've never had 5%. People buy 5%. I've never had 5% before. Apparently it tastes really, really good. But you know them ones where you're so used to having like 0% that... It's like beef mints. It's like when you have 5% beef mints or 95.5 for Americans out there. When you go to 80-20 or 20% fat, it's just like, what the fuck is so much better than the shit that I'm eating? A kilo of beef mints. Unfortunately, supermarket. You normally get it from a place called The Meat Man, which is really, really good quality. Buy your shit online from a butcher's. Online butchers, don't buy it from the supermarket. However, as we're down here short for a short period of time, we will uh, grab it from the supermarket. Quaker oats, absolute staple. I remember back in the day when I used to buy oats, they used to be, Quaker oats used to be two packets for three quid. Now one packet is one pound 75. <laughs> oh, you mugged me right off. You just said, so you're growing grey, mate. You're showing your age. Fuck. Yeah, he did. Fucking cheeky gun. Right, next on the list, Burford Browns. Absolute goats, in my opinion. As well as that, if it decides to focus, maybe not. Next on the list is sugar-free drinks. So we're going to go for Tango Orange. It's either Tango Orange or... No, Fanta Orange, dickhead. Or it's going to be... Uh, Tango Apple. I'm in a bit indecisive mood at the moment. I think I'm going to go for this. I haven't had one of these in a while. And uh, yeah, it's zero sugar. I had to double check then. Because imagine I would be fuming if I drank full fucking sugar. Shit. If I drank full sugar, I'd be fuming. Right, up next on the agenda frozen Sainsbury's blueberries. Arguably, in my opinion, Sainsbury's had the best frozen blueberries. So, only one packet, don't we? Yes. So, fuck it, we'll wrap the old parents' freezer. Oh, and dry food for the dogs, just. Sugarly. Sugarly. This Zero stuff is calorie. dangerous. <laughs> it is dangerous. Zero calorie sugar. You get it from like this section here. I don't even know what you call it. Sweetener section. Sweetener section. Go straight in my basket. It's like, I remember. Right, what are you saying? That it's funny because I remember a couple of vlogs ago you're like, don't use sweeteners in prep. Fast forward to now. Yeah, God, the taste buds are tingling, guys, at this point. So, so you just got to do what you got to do. And just join the crew of eating disorders. No. Yeah. <laughs> Shopping acquired. That came to fifty-six fucking quid. It's literally like a couple of days of food plus the dog's food. All right, give us that. Vicky, look at her struggling. It's like doing one. You know what people do with the uh, in the uh, strongman events when they carry the long yeah, things and they try and get there as quickly as they can. It's so much darker now than what it was when we went in. Do you feel that? Yeah, it is. Dark evenings are coming, guys. Depression's fucking hell. Coming. Yeah, depression season's coming. Can't wait for it. Fuck you, right? What we need to do is, is get back, make the oats because we haven't made them, and we need to take dogs out. And it's gonna be fucking pitch black. Brilliant! Barely even worth me vlogging because it's fucking pitch black. But this is the shit that sometimes you've just got to do, you know? We're out for a walk, we've got some steps to do. I really don't want to. I've just come back from the gym, I'm tired. It's one of those sort of days, a lot of traveling, you know, you just want to sit down and do fuck all. But we've got goals. I can't even see Vicky. We've got goals and we're gonna, there she is. Ooh, spooky. It's nearly Halloween anyway. Um, hello dudes, I'm a shit. Am I picking it up? No, I fucking am not. I'm letting nature do its ting, bruv. Anyway, yeah, we've got big goals. We've got things that we want to accomplish. So it gets done, you know? No excuse. So easy to sit there and go, I'll do my steps tomorrow or I won't bother. It's easy and it's just bullshit excuses. So we're getting it done. And trust me, when I get to the end of this, I'm going to feel so accomplished because what makes me feel really good is knowing that I've done what I've needed to done, even when I don't want to do it. That's when it's... What's funny? When I've done what I've needed to do. <laughs> I don't know what I said. I just don't know what I said. Anyway, we're going to go and finish off these steps. We've got about four or five K left, so 
It is what it is. I can't even see in front of me. I'm just literally walking. There could be something right in front of me right now. I don't fucking see it. And there we have it. 15,194 steps. And it is 9 o'clock at night. And we've done it. So that was a slog. So comment down below, Sponge, if you've watched all of the YouTube video. Really appreciate everyone that is following along the journey and the prep. We've got some exciting bits coming up. So make sure you hit that like button. Of course, make sure you subscribe so you never miss out. Turn those notifications on, whatever the fuck that means. A lot of YouTubers say it, so I may as well say that. And uh, as always, guys, I'm hoping you can take some from these videos as well. And have a good laugh. Like, just sit back and enjoy it and just... Like, imagine just watching a mate. That's kind of how I want it to be. But I also want to provide value and insight into this lifestyle that influences you to get into this a little bit more. Anyway, I'm waffling. I'm doing a weird piece random sign that I don't know what I'm doing for because I don't know how to end the video. I'll leave it there. I'll see you in the next one.